Yeah, man. Sup, my purples? How are you doing today? Today is a mighty fine, extra special day because Lohiz is releasing the ESPI. Little trademark back and forth thing with the names been going on with Dave Rossum. Apparently a pretty cool guy, the originator of the original SP1200. So from here on, the app is called ESPI and it's coming out, like I said, today. Before we get into the nice sound comparison between the machine, the original SP1200 and the ESPI, I want to let you know about this little winning competition we got going on. If you want to partake in this and if you want to win your own access to the beta version of the ESPI, follow Lohis and me on Instagram. Find the post, this one right here. Tag three of your buddies. Off you go to success. I want to add to it also that the app is in a beta stage still. So even though you can have access directly to it right now and put that money down, you'll be able to fiddle around. There are still some missing features and some bugs still going on. So you should be ready for that going into it, but it's still a lot of fun. Let's check them around. Preparing the samples for the comparison test, I set the tune of the samples to 5.20 semitones to simulate 45 RPM record speed. That means when we slow it down, it's going to be like that original crunch, old school crunch, you know what I'm saying? Love this new drag and drop feature that he added. It's so much more smoother now to add samples. Dangerous! I also used the mat to bus control a free plug-in to pick one of the stereo channels left or right because the SP1200 samples in mono so we want to do it in a mono first out the Isley brothers ain't I been good to you you'll see why in the end <music> Petitioning the peoples, I could see that they reminisce over you was most people's favorite SP1200 joint. But it just so randomly happens that our next sample we're going to try out is the same saxophone player, the genius Tom Scott. Next one is from jazz pianist Billy Taylor, Secret. This song was sampled on one of my favorite SP1200 joints, Square One by I and I. Grab Lover, Robo, Ross G, Marco Polo, and the soul brother Pete Rock. Let us go. <laughs> Let us get into some drum break territory. This is Mountain, Long Red, another classic break. And the test would of course be inconclusive without the Winston's Amen Brother. Been sampled 
twice. And one of the harder hitting drum breaks, synthetic substitution by Melvin Bliss. Final one. Big one up to Lohis for helping me out with this amazing comparison. What did you guys think? I'll let you guys be the judge, but uh, to me, first impression, spontaneously what I heard listening back to it is that they all three of them ring on slightly different frequencies. This is the exact same samples going in and they all, they all sound a little bit different. The SP-1200 naturally sounds most like the sp1200 the machine is not that far behind it seems like the machine preserves a little bit more low end and there's some shimmer and some clarity uh, missing in the espi all oh, pretty damn close though and i want to add to it that i think lohis has done a heck of a job important point here the sp1200 is not magical anything you put into it doesn't sound great there's something about certain uh, high mid frequencies that sound really great on certain pitches, but it really differs from case to case and it really depends on what you put into it. Point here being, if you know your shit, you got the right tools, you can shape the sound to get it exactly how you want it. Using a variety of different tools, there's plugins, other lo-fi samplers, whatever. That's not the big beauty of the ESPI here for me. For me, it's more about uh, the nostalgia factor, the fun of poking around in it with the sequencer and making something out of that and switching it up the environments. What I like to do is I like to get a foundation going in the ESPI and then lifting it into the machine. You can very conveniently do this like this. You can export the stems. All you need to do is hit disk and seven and you'll get a zip file with all the stems exported. And they'll be exported according to what output group they're set to, if I'm not mistaken. I might be all wrong on this. We mustn't forget that we also get a bunch of extras like customizable filters that you don't have on the original SP1200. Effects both on pad and master level. Next time we're gonna talk about how to set the MIDI up and I'll also have a machine template for you <laughs> also looking at it in this context you can pay six to eight k for a real original sp you can pay however much the machine is right now or you can pay 20 bucks and get something that's very close to emulating the real experience it's kind of like you're playing super nintendo on an emulator you know what i'm saying it's not the real super nintendo but it's the same amount of fun and if you learn how to operate operate this which i will teach you how to do as well well by the time you saved up for a real sp1200 you'll know how to work it in no time anyways don't forget to join the giveaway follow me and low hiss on instagram and tag three friends in the post you see right here and either one of them also remember to check them around the beat challenge that we do every monday amazing sound kit coming next week that is very soon guys anticipation skyrocket high and i will keep you guys updated on the sp <clears throat> sorry it's almost like the real thing the espi with some more beat making and tutorials on it okay bye bye <laughs>
Keep that quick fix exaggeration, the practice of patience since back in the days, rapping in the basement, calibrating to become the captives of our own imagination. Feel like a castaway among this caveman with dreams captivated by payments to banks in the caymans. Fuck your tax haven fascination with shilling in the back of a cafe, marinating, working on a cash's clay transportation, dancing in the rain, or completely irregardless of the weather gods. Up in this renaissance of self proclaimed demigods and demagogues, put more energy into our demos than our jobs in order to level the odds. Well, as long as I afford the rental costs and the dental floss, we keep on doing it down to the last hundred crowns. Overachieving, but underground, that's how we shut them down. Shut them down. Shut him 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 down. Smash the eggshell open when Dr. Wu said push A genetically engineered space cush Ain't that a fortune cookie? I need to get it on the boat so I can coast to coast And over the missile push to save them all Shut down the label dogs including Mr. Fat Cat Bring out the at the lab rats Lord or how? You ever seen a nerd get this raw? Where's my mask at? Shinobi Shizuku Head to toe with the rag rap Joe Musashi No Bugatti just an old Atari I play your phonies rolling in the low safari Troll the system till I'm old getting low key rich did I tell you that I'm six foot three? Almost six? My elbow ends right around around your fist That's connected to the disc Bring it to the mistress It's the red brick road Mode seven on the bitch 3D motherfucker that forensic code Shut him down 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 Shut him down, 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 shut him down.